Hello, beloveds. Happy Thanksgiving. I wanted to share with you an extended version of the sharing I offered with the Interfaith Thanksgiving service on Sunday afternoon. So let me share these words of gratitude and hope as we celebrate a very different Thanksgiving this year. Gratitude and hope. Hope and gratitude. When asked to share about gratitude at the Interfaith Thanksgiving service just a couple of days ago, in the midst of a pandemic, with political tensions, with acts of hatred in our own community and natural disasters across our nation and around the world. Psalm 8 came to mind immediately. This particular Psalm is a touchstone of mine and it is especially precious to me in these days. So allow me to share just a couple of verses from that Psalm and then some glimpses of hope and gratitude around me. I'm going to share my screens for some beautiful images while we go through this. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you set in place, what are humans that you have been mindful of them, mortals that you have taken note of them, that you have made them little less than divine and adorned them with glory and majesty. You have made them caretakers over your handiwork, laying the world as their charge. Sheep and oxen, all of them, and wild beasts too. The birds of the heavens, the fish of the sea, whatever travels the path of the seas. O oh Lord, our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. This is where my gratitude heart, my, where my grateful heart rests, excuse me, and the place where my hope resides in the glory of God's creation all around me. I am grateful that I am able to walk my two wonderful dogs every day, masked, keeping social distance. I am grateful for sidewalk chalk and neighborhood artists, tall and small, who leave messages of hope for those who pass by. I'm grateful for fresh green leaves of spring, deep, rich, and abundant leaves of summer, and colorful falling leaves of autumn, crunchy brown leaves for puppies to burrow into. I am grateful for hot air balloons that drift overhead against an ever-changing sky. I am grateful for waterfalls and gorges and a broad lake whose shades of blue are never the same. I am grateful for neighborhood yards, each one unique, filled with plants and trees and flowers and with so many Black Lives Matter signs, hate has no home here signs, and end white silence now. I am grateful for two girls, masked, wearing gloves, who were playing Frisbee from one street corner to the next. I am grateful for teenagers who fly by on their skateboards and make my youngest dog leap for joy. I am grateful for a little girl on her knees on the sidewalk, repeatedly ooing and eyeing over whatever she has discovered that day. I am grateful for so many in our city who wear their masks, who keep their distance, and yet still wave hello to one another with a smile, that though the smile is hidden behind a mask, it lights up their eyes. I could continue my list of small moments of gratitude and hope for quite some time. All of these fill me to overflowing each and every day. It is my thanksgiving hope and prayer that you will create your own list and then let those glimpses of hope flow from your lips to share with another. Let it drip from your pen as you pen some cards and notes to those you know and let it fly through in your fingers when you send emails out to those who you think might be lonely. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, gratitude and hope. 
Thanks be to God. Happy Thanksgiving.